Welcome back to the Mayorverse, everybody. Mayor Reynolds, AK Midnight Mayor here. And today we are talking about DCM modes and dead drop. These are created modes and dead drop made by the community, like the six that are featured right now in dead drop, including my infection mode that may come next. So Midnight Society has been clear that Lua scripting is going to be enabled sometime during dead drop snapshot seven. And that's gonna open a variety of doors for new modes to be made. And I'm actually gonna show you the roadmap for that type of content as well as share some modes. This is the important part, this is the fun part that I think are going to be able to be made by people in the community during Snapshot 7 once Lua scripting is actually enabled and activated in Dead Drop. So let's get going. So if you're somebody who wants to get started with a DCM, kind of planning one of these modes that I'm about to go over in this video, Midnight Society actually shared the Lua script used to make the six uh, DCMs that are in Dead Drop right now since Snapshot 7 launched, like Arsenal, like High Octane CTF, like Infection, like Free For All, all of those modes. And all you have to do is go to MidnightSociety.com and then go to the Intercept, which is right here under Studio, and then you'll find this post, DCM scripting in creative mode. If you go down here, you can actually download the Lua script for these modes and start tinkering and planning and see a little bit of what you can actually do with Lua scripting. That's the first step towards creating these. Then remember, here's the roadmap for dead drops, DCM, creative mode, all that stuff, marketplace, publishing platform. I've got whole videos dedicated to that on the channel, but remember DCM is just step number one on this journey. The next step is the creator tool to actually create assets in Unreal Engine 5, then creative mode to be able to publish those things and play them, then the marketplace, which will allow you to monetize your own creations, and then another publishing platform, which will be able to create standalone experiences, you know, IP outside of the dead drop universe, all that stuff. All right, now let's get into the modes that I think people will be able to create during dead drop snapshot seven with Lua. Maybe you guys wanna take some of these ideas and try them for yourself, download the code from that blog post and actually start trying to tinker and get ready. So first up is one in the chamber. This is a mode that in my mind originated in Call of Duty. That's at least where I first played it. You're watching footage actually from Splitgate's one in the chamber mode. Splitgate, super underrated game, by the way. You can still play it today. Still has an active player base. But the basic concept here is everybody spawns. You only get one gun and only has one bullet in it. It's usually something like a Desert Eagle or, you know, in Splitgate, this is one of their carbine a pistol of some type, and everybody dies in one shot to the body, to the head, it doesn't matter, but you only get that one shot. And if you miss it, then guess what? You're out of luck. You have to hit all of your opponents or then you're stuck just meleeing. It's super fun, it's a good aim trainer, and it just creates some really, really great intense moments where you really gotta hit your shots or get into some crazy type of melee battle with somebody and then uh, get a shot back when you get the melee kill or whatever. But I certainly think one in the chamber will be able to be made in dead drop dcm using lua scripting so even though squad deathmatch isn't one of the featured dcms there's actually you can already play it and we've been playing it during some of the, the dcm community nights you can actually do three-man squad team deathmatch in dead drop right now uh in in your own if you use a refiner code and create it and so on but one thing that i think would be a step beyond that would be really fun and i'm thinking of like Proving Ground 3 in Dead Drop would be a great map for this. It's like a big team battle, like a 12v12 mode. I think it'd be absolute chaos. It'd be really fun. Uh, I could see, you know, in Proving Ground 3, one team holding that one side, you know, all the high ground and stuff, and then the other team holding those other platforms on the other side. You've got the plane in the middle, people trying to cross uh, and, you know, cover your teammates as they run across, something like that, I think would be a uh, uh, really, really fun. And maybe maybe you could even throw something like CTF in there because we know we already have flag mechanics thanks to high octane CTF. Most people know big team battle from Halo, which is why I'm showing you Halo footage here. Next up would be something like Guardian or VIP. I love Guardian and Gears of War, one of my one of my favorite franchises of all time. Severely underrated multiplayer gameplay, by the way. Gears 4, still great, it's on Game Pass. Gears 5, I mean. Gears 4 is also on Game Pass, though. Um, but if you don't know Guardian or VIP, you know, you have a squad of, of three or four, but one person, uh, you know, is 
is either empowered or selected and highlighted as the target of the other team. And to, to, to score, you have to kill that person. Once that person is dead, another person on the team becomes the VIP. You rinse and repeat, but you, your, your objective as your, the teammates is to protect your VIP or whatever you, whatever you call it. And then you kind of have this dynamic of how many people defend the VIP and then how many people go and seek to kill the other team's VIP or do you get aggressive and just have your VIP go in as well and see what happens. It's a, it's a different style mode that I think would be really fun. And I'm, I'm wondering if through Lua, if we used if we use the enforcer mechanics, right, because that's got a system that spawns an enforcer. Um, a different character model selects a different person. There may be some way to play around with that and, and work up some type of VIP gameplay, which would be uh, a team based VIP gameplay, which could be really cool. And uh, Caramel Hydra is your designer of Enforcer, if you didn't know. Well, along with Infection, which we've already created, but it's going to evolve a long time over the course of Dead Drop's life. We've already got future updates planned for it short term and long term to make it the best infection mode ever created. We've got a video about that on the channel explaining the creation of infection and Dead Drop and some of the plans for it. One of my all time favorite modes from any game is originally called SWAT, now referred to as Tactical Slayer in Halo. This basically is one shot headshots. Your body damage is, is pretty much normal. So it's a mode that focuses almost exclusively on headshots. And I would love to see this brought to Dead Drop. I know I will certainly bring it to Dead Drop myself the second uh, we have the ability to, and I think we will be able to with Lua. I'm, again, I'm speculating on all these modes. I could make a mistake. I might be wrong on any of them, but I'm trying to get your ideas flowing. I think potentially with Lua scripting, you could turn down damage to the body uh, to make it less, you know, to make it do less damage maybe you don't even want to do that but you could turn up headshot damage i think because dead drop does have headshot multipliers already so i think through lua scripting you could boost um you know you could boost the headshot damage to make it a, always a one shot kill and then if you give everybody a weapon like the heavy pistol i'm thinking would be it would be a great one uh, i know some people would love a sniper uh headshot only type mode but i personally would think like heavy pistol or uh, maybe even the DMR with a with a with a four times scope on it or something like that. But anyway, SWAT in Dead Drop DCM definitely something that I would love to see. So we all know that Dead Drop has one of the best sniper rifles of all time. I'm not even kidding. Uh, I put Dead Drop sniper up there with the Halo sniper, the AWP and Counter Strike, some of the all time great sniper rifles in video games. And uh, I I can already see, and I think everybody would love a team snipers mode whether it be 4v4 team snipers like as popular in Halo or something like that because we've, we've already got team deathmatch and I don't think it would be hard to look at that Lua script and uh, just change the loadouts so everybody only has snipers in fact I think there's already something like that uh in the files if I if I remember correctly but team snipers dead drop doesn't even really matter the map I think it's going to be a lot of fun it could definitely be a DCM created very quickly once Lua scripting is live. I already created a very early working version of this, and that is a hardcore team deathmatch, or you could do hardcore free for all just by tweaking the damage numbers in Dead Drop, something like the free for all mode or the team deathmatch script that's already there. If you just increase the damage across the board, uh, you know. This is going to be very easy. This means very, very, very fast time to kill only like like one or two shot kills with almost any weapon. It's very popular in Call of Duty. You know, you're going more for for realism uh, and you're really challenging people to decide when to when to use cover, when to move. It would definitely change the pace of things, you know, and uh, a lot of people do love hardcore Call of Duty. So maybe people would like a hardcore team deathmatch or hardcore free for all mode in dead drop and again i think this is going to be one that's really easy as a matter of fact again i've already created it in dead drop right now without even using lua scripting but i think with lua you could do even more and, and you know i think you can actually you know well i know you'll be able to customize the loadouts to your liking uh, if you don't want to use the ones that are already in the game for free for all or tdm you could do all that stuff but just another thought for people who want to get involved in this and start somewhere I also just want to take this opportunity to remind everybody that myself and others have formed a Dead Drop UGC team called Viper UGC, and we are working on a long-term 
dead drop UGC project called Versus Proving Grounds. It is a 1v1 game meant to put players on original maps of our design inspired by the dead drop concept art, the actual dead drop game, universe, lore, and all that stuff. And we're gonna be sharing a lot of those maps and publicly play testing them in another game where we've created prototypes. So stay tuned for more and make sure you follow Viper UGC on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, all those places. All right, guys, so if you have questions about dead drop DCM, or what's ahead for the UGC vision or Lua scripting, leave them down in the comments. If I can't answer them directly, maybe somebody else in the community can. And remember, Lua scripting is supposed to be enabled during Snapshot 7. I'm sitting here thinking right now, the holidays are coming up. Maybe we get it, you know, right after the holidays because we're all, you know, everybody's gonna be busy. I'm expecting the folks at Midnight Society to take some time off. But, uh, you know, right after the holidays, when everything's out of the way, give everybody some new stuff to play with. If we get the, you know, Lua scripting and the, the leaderboards that have been mentioned in, in the Discord or the, the objectives and or the objectives to earn exotic crates, stuff like that. Um, seems like that would be a good time for an update to Snapshot 7. Just throwing it out there, my personal thoughts. So with no further ado, guys, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button, leave a comment with your thoughts and questions down below, and subscribe to the channel if you want more Dead Drop Midnight Society content. This is the place to be. Thanks for watching, as always. I sincerely appreciate it. Mayor Reynolds out. This video is sponsored by Fortnite. Support a creator code Mayor. That's all you gotta do is plug Mayor into your Fortnite or Epic Game Store. Support a creator slot. Whenever you make a purchase and a portion of that purchase will go towards supporting my content. It costs you nothing. Just plug it in anytime you see support a creator in Fortnite or the Epic Game Store, and it will directly support my channel and help increase the budget for content like our live action dead drop short film, Midnight, which you can go watch right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the support. M-A-Y-O-R in your supporter creator slot. Thanks a lot.